Welcome, friends. As predicted, Cody is turning all of his wrath onto his one remaining friend and possible kind of wife, Janelle. Because with Christine gone, he realizes that she was sort of like a glue holding many things together within the family structure. Even though he tells himself he's in love with Robin, what has she actually done for him or the family that he can cling on to? Robin's been the wife she's been over the past several years because all these other wives were supporting her and Cody, financially, emotionally, so forth. Once those supports are gone, Robin's not going to be the same person. She might have to work or worry more about where their next paycheck is coming from, and that's not fun for Cody. So he's pretty pissed off that Christine would dare to leave him. He can't take it out on her anymore. And so, of course, the next target has to be sister wife number two, Janelle. Culpable in this situation. Culpable? For what? What? Culpable for not having any respect for me about the COVID. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's all Cody's asking for. I swear, on this show, it's so rare that I ever see Janelle go up against Cody in any kind of negative way. I rarely ever hear her raise her voice towards him. I remember this one clip in which Janelle was counseling her kids to be respectful towards Cody and Robin, but I guess none of that really matters. Because for whatever reason, right now, Cody sees Robin and Mary, the woman who literally cheated on him, as being the most respectful wives of all because they're keeping their mouth shut, letting him throw his man tantrums, and ganging up on Janelle with him. Notice how Mary and Robin are literally sitting together on the other side of the fireplace like some terrible team of sister wives sent from hell to do everything they can to haunt poor Janelle. What you were asking me to choose between my children and you. Why would anyone ever choose Cody over pretty much anyone else, let alone their own children? Meanwhile, my husband is monogamous and pretty good to me, and I would still, I'm sorry, James, always pick my kids <laughs> over my husband. Don't get in between a mother and her children. But you never even reinforced the rules. You never even said these are the things you should do. You actually belittled the stuff I was doing. Doing? I haven't seen you doing anything all season, Cody. So I guess you're angry that people like Janelle and Christine kind of went on with their lives instead of completely shutting out the entire world, locking all of their doors, and sitting on the couch at home. I mean, is that what you wanted from everyone? How would they have been able to keep selling their mar their multi-level marketing crap and bringing money home for the family if they had even tried to take the path you and Robin decided to follow. Ultimately, you completely benefited from the fact that Janelle, Christine, and Mary continued to work their butts off during COVID. This whole conversation is so silly and ridiculous. Keep, I was keeping myself Cody, from being a you hypocrite. You did not even give us the rules till two weeks before Thanksgiving. We've been talking about that you for so long You did not give me those rules till two weeks before Thanksgiving. I mean, just keep in mind, this is taking place like a year and eight months after the start of COVID. To think about like still having such strict rules about how a family can get together and meet for a holiday just seems really unfair, especially for kids, and especially for kids who are teenagers. They're allowed to have a life outside of their family, and stunting that would not be good for them. Janelle refused to stunt her kids. She allowed them to make their own decisions, and some of them decided that they needed to be around people other than their father and Robin. What a weird world Cody and Robin live in, where for some reason, everything should completely revolve around them. Give me. Well, so from March until Thanksgiving, I had well, no rules. Those, those were no, the you didn't. You did too. That's not true. Here comes the man baby tantrum. Okay. That's a blatant hey, lie. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, just, just give it a Sorry, second. I'm mad as hell because you know what? Everybody put the on me. Well, you are the only common denominator in the family, Cody. I mean, isn't that how polygamy is set up in the first place? It does kind of fall on you, dude. No. And then when I finally get sick from COVID, no. that was a death-like experience. Oh my God, are you effing kidding me?
This really drives me crazy. For those of you who don't know, my background is completely in pediatric nursing. I've worked in pediatric hospitals, specifically in the ER as well as done a bunch of other pediatric specialties. It drives me crazy to watch Robin and Cody being such absolute whiny big baby adults when they supposedly got COVID on the show. I think Robin said she was in the hospital with a fever of 101. Are you kidding me? That's what ibuprofen and Tylenol are for, and any normal person in the United States knows that. To even think that Cody or Robin took up an ounce of space in a hospital or a clinic or even just at the pharmacy for someone who was really sick just pisses me off. It also really makes me angry to think about how there are several other people in the Sister Wives family who are more susceptible to getting really sick with COVID. Janelle, for example. We didn't hear her whining and complaining and throwing a big hissy baby fit and then constantly bringing it up like she lived through some kind of third world war. Okay. Oh, man! I sat here and just tried to get everybody to do it. I realized that, that you just can't run from it by now. But as I was trying to perfect, try to protect my family, what if one of my little ones had been where I was or where she was? Only what? What was okay, it, three weeks this ago? this is the same old, same old. Ugh, I cannot believe So what does this even have to do with Janelle? I don't understand. Did Janelle give you guys COVID? I'm pretty sure it was established on the show that none of the other sister wives gave you or Robin COVID. Yet here you are bitching and complaining about how they're living their lives. When you're the one who hawks guns at gun shows, you can't tell me that it wouldn't be super easy to pick up some kind of illness from that sort of environment, Cody. I, I cannot believe that I have done all this to save you, to save Truly, to save my children. I did not know. I did not know that it wouldn't harm them. I was trying to protect him and I got criticism from you. Oh my God, Janelle's face. She's the only sane one at this weird meeting around a campfire of a disintegrating family. She's like, OMG, I can't believe I'm still here. And from my boys, the worst criticism, zero respect. You guys wonder why I'm mad? I've gone 18 months being persecuted by my own family. Here comes empath Robin tearing up over the fact that Cody has to face the consequences of all his horrible decisions. For trying to protect them. Let's, let's not leave. My let's, heart is broken. Let's, let's Christine talk. left because let's of this. Talk. I don't know if that's why Christine left Cody. I mean, Peyton Brown on a recent Instagram live flat out said that Christine's been done with Cody for quite a while and it all had to do with his utter devotion to Robin and Robin's kids and his utter lack of involvement with anyone else in the family other than adding their money to the pot of gold he uses to keep he and Robin completely satiated with knickknacks in their crazy McMansion on a hill. Let's just keep talking even if it's intense. Oh my God, 100% true. Robin loves when fights like this go on forever. She's literally sitting in her chair having an orgasm over the fact that Janelle and Cody's marriage, or at least whatever friendship they had left, is imploding before her eyes. I am so, I'm sorry. I, I just went through this. You and I see this. it very differently, Cody. And it's not all Janelle, my fault. You have this is like not my fault. I, I had the You're one. acting like this is my fault. Whose fault could it possibly be, Janelle? Are you insinuating that King Cody and Queen Robin should take any responsibility for the fact that they got COVID? That's not how this family works. I would have been great to have had a backup. Cody, I was doing what I could. I was walking a line between my adult children and you and everybody else. I was following Ooh, all the nice. CDC guidelines. Oh, silly Janelle. The CDC guidelines don't supersede Cody's guidelines. Cody's acting like I was a COVID denier. I was not a COVID denier. I followed all the CDC rules. I wore a mask. I washed my hands. I was careful. I'm vaccinated for crying out loud. 
Oh, right. Because word on the street is that Cody and Robin refuse to be vaccinated. I can't prove that for sure. And I'm not someone who wants to influence what other people choose to do about vaccines. But it is quite funny how much crap they're giving Janelle when it's highly likely they made their own choice. It's their choice not to get vaccinated. I'm totally okay with that choice. But should everyone around them, including their children, have to suffer for it? I don't have to stand here and defend myself. This is the same old argument. I don't need to be beaten into submission, kowtow, made to kowtow. I'm just not. I just don't need this. I have absolutely no idea what kowtow means, but Janelle's right. She doesn't need this loser in her life. In the last 18 months, I've realized that I'm pretty good. I'm independent. And I'm not going to stand here and be yelled at. I just don't need it. I don't deserve it. I don't need it. Being totally honest, Janelle is not the kind of bee you want to mess with. I get the feeling that on the back streets of some godforsaken, gang-ridden, third-world country, Janelle would cut a bee, if she had to, to protect her children. So Cody and Robin have no chance at taking this queen off of her throne. Janelle is one of my favorites, and I'm so glad that she's not cowering in a corner now that Christine is gone. She has no problem standing on her own two feet and letting all the other losers in that so-called family know she's not going to be pushed around. I can't wait to see next season. My greatest hope will always be that somehow Janelle will wind up running over Cody with that trailer he gives her so much shit about. Thanks for coming down this rabbit hole with me. I hope to see you guys next time.